Once in the air if you're a Raider Once for Al Davis and once for the haters Two for the Raiders, coaching staff and the players Let's win another Super Bowl Man, they can't fade us Suit and black attack Got to move the chains Come here, baby, here we are right here at the dive bar We got it going on right now DJ West in the house hey. I got right there, baby All day long all right, all right. Check it out. Right now. My man. We're going to see more DJ West, man. He's coming up later in the show. We're having a good time here. Black Sundays at the Dive Bar. How's everybody doing? Yeah. I think everybody's right. doing pretty good. I don't know about all the rest right. of y'all, though. All right, how you doing, JR? I'm fat, just all kinds of fantastic today. I got no issues. My balls feel better from last week. You know how that little episode went, <laughs> snip, snip. <laughs> So well, I got issues, man. I got notes uh -oh. today. I got so uh -oh. many damn issues. I'll tell you right now, it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tissues for them issues. Now, first things first, man. Hey, uh, I I love the guy. Uh, it was Ginger Power long before that. The last quarterback we had. Ooh, uh, shit. This was from the '90s. He was a legacy. He was a draft pick. He was supposed to be the supreme human being. Todd Marinovich. Yes, indeed. Marinovich, baby. <laughs> Every, does everybody remember Marijuanovich? <laughs> Asshole. All right. Yeah. No, I got that I got that rookie card on a plaque with a rail and a big pot leaf on it. It's yep. been there for for twenty something years. I I surprised the pot leaf has lasted twenty something years. Well, it was just a leaf. You know, it wasn't a bud. <laughs> it was a bud. It wouldn't last twenty seconds, no. but you know. Legal yeah. weed, ladies and gentlemen. But it, it's Legal. called the World Developmental Football League. And he is going for quarterback 48 years old. Man, he I wouldn't say anything over 47, but 48, he is trying to put down Good. some serious numbers. Now, you're a young man now. Uh, yeah. Did you watch him play? I watched a little bit. I've seen some of those those VHS tapes of him. Oh, I think he was about to spit all over me. Well, as long as it wasn't security tapes of him. No. Because he's had some issues. No. So, <laughs> yeah, beta tapes. You know the ones that were like that big? He's definitely had some issues, man. But uh, I guess he's clean. He's sober. He's ready to go here. Uh, Thank God. I, you know, I, I wish him well. You know, it's better than running I'd around on a it. meth bench or something, right? Yeah, anything's better than running around on a meth bench, you know. <laughs> now, speaking of running around on a meth bench, how about uh, the latest article from the news? Yes, indeed. The believable, lovely news. Come um, on, dude. Uh, if you notice, there's a lot of headlining articles around right now that are explaining again how Mark Davis is screwing the world. Uh, and now they're talking about parking at the Thomas and Mac. So the headline says, Mark Davis wants you to park three miles away. You know? And honestly, I got to think, that these people have never been to Vegas because nope. there's only, what, I don't know, 50,000 parking spaces within everywhere within a couple hundred yards of that place. Yeah. I mean, the difference between Las Vegas and, let's say, where they are now is that we build up. Okay, so we have a huge parking lot, and then we put 14 more on top of it. 14 so, more parking lots, just in case you guys were drinking at home, didn't realize what he's talking about. Yeah, and, and now at the tailgating, one of the things that, you know, I, I remember when they came back, I was there game one, tailgating, and, and you know, 100 games, hundreds of games since then. Yep. But the, uh, the thing about that is that, you know, you bring all your beer in, you bring all your food in, and you know why? Because other than like a quarter pound, there, there ain't shit uh, around the stadium. Nothing. It's industrial. There's nothing to eat. Now, if you give the choice, I mean, do you know that uh, here's the headline you won't see. 400 yards away from the stadium is a topless pool. Oops. Does anybody know that? There's, I've been there, so I definitely know. I mean, a top... So, I mean, if we were playing the Redskins or something, why would you even go to the game? Oh, no. Staying where the titties are. Really, right? I mean, the tickets are, you know, they're not going to be cheap. So we're all going to the game. Yep. But, I mean, look at that. Topless pools, strip clubs, everything you could possibly want within literally 1,000 yards of the stadium in all three. Three of the four directions, because the other way goes up, Russell. We're not going that way. Yeah. We're going to leave all that nonsense alone. because there's, there's nothing a up train. There. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I've spent many a time on the BART train going yep. to and fro to the game. Who hasn't? You know, it, coming from Hayward, it was always an easier bet. A lot cheaper. How many uh, times, let me ask you this, Jack. How many times have you been so drunk during the game that you got back on the BART to go back and fell asleep on that bitch and missed every stop you could possibly get off on? <laughs> well, it's more than four or five, but I mean, it, 
It's not a, an exorbitant amount. I People mean, woke up and he's like, what <laughs> fucking city fucking am I in? Fremont, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> No, but we got a train that's going to come all the way from North Las Vegas uh, to just like a little bridge like yeah. we had right there. Yeah. Except this train stops at all the casinos. Every one of the casinos <laughs> that has 25,000 parking spots. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But, but oh, and then here's. You can make a bet. <laughs> at every stop. Right? Now, now you can bet as the game's flowing, you know? Yes. I mean, that would be nice. We need some OT, some some uh, off betting over there. That'd be fun. It and just, then also, it, we're talking about the Thomas and Mac. They brought it up as in, hey, where are parking spots going to be available? Now, catching a bus in Oakland is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Okay, catching a bus, a shuttle bus in Las Vegas is, is about not. two clicks away. Yeah. I mean, you step up and there's a shuttle bus. We do it like nobody's ever That's seen. That's what a lot of these people, Jack, that don't realize about Las Vegas is obviously, if you have been to Las Vegas, you were so drunk during the bachelor party, you don't remember it. <laughs> but the thing is this, Las Vegas is a transportation, uh, entertainment, nightlife capital of the world. Yeah. We have here what other places don't have. The transportation is not an issue. This city was basically built around being able to funnel in thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people yeah. let me ask you guys this has anybody ever been here on new year's eve is transportation an issue on that night yeah no it's not that's seven hundred thousand people on new year's eve on the strip i don't remember the last time any game anywhere has had seven hundred thousand anything and oh. you can get the hell in and out quick so when it comes right down to it they're just like Antifa, and they're trying to find more things to cry about. Knock your shit off and just understand the Raiders are coming to Vegas, whether you like it or not. And you cannot start enough GoFundMes to stop that shit. <laughs> no, so uh, you're absolutely right, man. And, and I was having an issue in the last couple of days. I've been seeing this. And what is the deal? What is the deal with these headlines? Why are you trying this? It's a done deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that the Raiders get a Super Bowl this year. I'm hoping the Raiders get a Super Bowl next year. And in 50 years, when I'm long dead and gone, I'm hoping the Raiders win the Super Bowl. That's the bottom line. That's the Raiders. You know, they're just Raiders. That's it. doesn't matter where. You know, if you've been to an away game, you know, are you? not, not many people are yelling, Oakland, Oakland, Oakland. No, they're yelling Raiders. Raiders. It, people. Come on. I Let's saw it the other day, and I got absolutely you crazy think about Las it, man. Las Vegas can handle the transportation. You don't know shit about Las no. Vegas. I saw it the other day, and it was just making me crazy. That it said, Oakland wins this. Oakland wins. I'm like, I don't remember the last time Oakland had anything, because it's not Oakland. It's the Raiders doing it. So the last time that the Raiders are representing any of the cities, okay, fine. You're representing that city. You're the actual team of the Raiders. doesn't matter where you call home. The 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 geography of it doesn't matter where you're calling home. Yeah. It's the team name, Raiders, Raider Nation, Raiders. Okay, it was Oakland Raiders, then it was Los Angeles Raiders, now it's Las Vegas Raiders. Do you hear the word that did not change? Raiders! I think all my drunk friends here know that word, <laughs> unlike the rest of the city fans that are still bitching about it. So. Hundred percent. <laughs> so right, man, let's get here. it. DJ West, he's going to be playing for us all this day. This guy right here. here. This guy right you know, here. We got plenty of people here. We're going to have a good time today. Uh, make sure you come on down and join us at Black Sundays every Sunday from the dive bar. And uh, we got we got about four more of these. Fifteen days till training camp. That's it. Oh my lordy, it's uh it's going to be fun, man. So stick around. We got DJ West. Gonna, uh, oh, yeah, wait a minute. That's right. Shout out to Steph. We got DJ Man. West coming up here. And uh, one more thing before we go. Our regular bartender here, Stephanie, she just gave birth yesterday. Give it up for Stephanie. The Raider mommy milkers are in full effect. 16, 16 hours to bring a new Raider fan in. You see that? See how that shit works? It's tough. Tell you what. Huh? A couple days ago. She's yep. all good now. She'll be back. Stephanie, we love you. We miss your boobs. Well, let's let's hope they're still there. When she, when she oh, they're back. still there. Trust me, they got bigger. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're at Black Sundays. We'll see you again. Uh, stick around. We got DJ West coming up. This for my Raider Nation. Raider Creed goes as follows. All right, here we go. We're back at Black Sundays right here at the dive bar every Sunday. 
And today we got a great treat here. DJ West up in the house. How you doing? West West, y'all. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, He'll be gonna be spinning for us for the next couple of hours right here. We're gonna have a good time, uh, get a little funk going on here. Now, uh, DJ West, man, good to see you out here at the dive bar. You've been in town, you've been playing the Raider bars for a while. You're one of the Raider OG DJs, man, and it's good to have you on the show. Well, I'm happy to be here, man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. So where where you been for the last couple of years? You've been uh I know uh, it was a few years ago, it was uh, uh, Shifties or something, right? Gosh. And then you moved over to the big room, though. I, I didn't bounce around quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Shifties, we were there for a little time. Uh, we got kind of outgrew it. Yeah. We moved on to Crowbar. Mm-hmm. Crowbar was nice. It was pretty perfect, if you ask me. But, uh, you know, our people create problems sometimes. So we had to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had we left Pro Bar and moved on to another uh, space in North Las Vegas. Uh huh. Um, which we're also, I think we're done with that place too already after one season. So yeah, you know, say for for I'll be somewhere. Maybe I can play with you for a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, no, you'll be here if nowhere, man. You got to be kidding. No, I just like you, you got opportunities coming out the wang, man. There's gonna be oh, forty do. bars this year. Uh, I, I just I wish I was like you, free agent, get some of that casino money right now. Free Damn. agency, free agency is nice. <laughs> no commitments right now, so you know. So I mean, like, how long you been in Vegas? You, you grew up here, or you moved here for somewhere? Two thousand six, man. Two thousand six. Yeah. So where were you, you come from uh, before that? Southern Cali, of course. Man. Oh, okay. Home, the city. All right. Yeah. So long time Raider fan. I mean, what? So what? What got you into the Raiders? What? What point? What era? Uh, what? Oh what? Gosh, what made you die hard? I think I was in middle school when it started. Just, just um. When he moved down there. Yeah, you know. Okay, so the move helped, of course. <laughs> uh, the move helped, you know. Uh, but it was, it just fit my personality. You yeah. Know? It just fit me. At first, it wasn't even about football. Yeah, right. It's about the personality and, and the kind of person I was, mm. and it fit me. You know, so. You know. You're reading between the lines, people. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm just, I'm just a nice, genuine Pro fella. <laughs> I'm just a nice, genuine fella. And, you know, and the Raiders are too, right? Right, <laughs> right. Yes, right. Sir, that's it. There's no between the lines there, yeah. So you moved out to Vegas. Uh, I mean, how's things going for you here? You know, I, I've noticed you on the scene, man. You know, uh, uh, unfortunately, we never really get to work together because we're always working the same we're damn com- thing. We're always competing together, yeah. man. You know what? Vegas is <laughs> Hell. Oh yeah. And I'm, you know, as a Cali boy, I'm not liking that too much. But Vegas has been good to me, man. DJ West loves Vegas. Yeah. Other than other than the weather, it, it's pretty nice. You know. I dig it. That's the one thing from Cali that you go, oh man, this is this is, ouch. How <laughs> nice is it going to be to have us a new really stadium? Because, like, uh, the air conditioned capital of the world. This must be here. Hey Jack, how about our new stadium is going to be a dome? It's going to be like 77 degrees every time. Isn't that crazy? I'm okay with that. I'll bring I a love sweater. it. I'm excited, <laughs> to, right? I'll bring my favorite Raiders sweater. Like my. It'd be like in the fifties in November up in friggin' Oakland. So what do you? What, I'm cool. what, West West, y'all. Who's that? Here we uh, go. Hey, okay. where's uh? So what do you think about the move? I mean, are you excited to make you feel better? Is your heart is your heart hurt? What's little, going on? A little bit of everything. Yeah. So I'm really excited about the move. Yeah. I'm very excited. You know, it's gonna be. It's gonna bring jobs. It's gonna bring so many opportunities. It's gonna bring. <laughs> He's just talking about himself, too, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I mean like uh, police jobs, health jobs. There'll be a lot of police jobs. Yeah. Um, Three thousand jobs. It's gonna yeah. bring a lot of jobs. You know, beer distributing. Beer people. Those. <laughs> talk to me, beer people. You know, I got you. <laughs> right. <laughs> and legal um, weed. Oh my god. That is helpful too. We can roll one up for that. You know. Do you think they'll have a booth at the, or a, you know, a, a, a business at the stadium? Raider weed. On, yeah. It's not like Raider, 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 hands, the Raider, Raider fans weed. were shorthanded a weed anyway. Hey, Jack, you know, what people, <laughs> you know what people don't realize on that back street right there next to Russell and Polaris right there? There is literally two fucking warehouses that are dispensary. Like, they're growing right there on the back side of the warehouse. Oh, man. Directly behind the stadium Raider site. Weed. Oh, Raider weed. That's yeah, the RW. Well, the, you know, you could say the same Raider thing Kush. about Open Coliseum, too. Yeah, there's two warehouses growing weed back here, buddy. That wasn't warehouses. <laughs> that was just the fans in the parking lot that smoking shit. I don't know if they're licensed, but. That you was know. some guy's grandma's <laughs> house. He's burning that up at the grandma's house, man. All right, well, you know, you're in for a treat here. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to see this after the fact, but if you were here, if you're smart enough to be here, you're going to watch this guy spin right now. He's going to spend some quality time 
on the ones and twos. Quality time. Thank you, you so much for joining us here on Black Sunday. It's DJ West. Thanks, uh, hey, thanks for having me, man. Y'all. If you're not on my page already, get on my page. Um, Facebook, DJ West Vegas. Look me up, like me, come talk to me. I'm a pretty uh, nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, and he'll, he'll answer you back within four days, too. I will answer you back on the weekend. <laughs> Straight up, I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, all just, right, we'll see you again. because I'm an asshole, I wanted to point this out real quick. Look at this man's sleeve. Oh, Oakland, nice. Los Angeles, Las Vegas. I'm representing I'm everybody. I'm pointing right that now. shit out right now, right here, baby. Las Vegas. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get that shit. All right, we'll see you again. Black Sundays. Hey, we only got a couple more of these before the uh, the whole format changes, man. We may not even do them. We're gonna go uh, start playing some football here real soon. So make sure you get on down here. Got a few weeks left uh, throughout the summer. Black Sundays here at the dive bar. Come see Courtney, uh, your bartender. Come see me. Come see JR. DJ West. DJ Everybody's West. Everybody's having a lot of fun here. And, I'm black uh, every Sunday. Uh, all the ladies in the house, Ooh. make sure you come and see our producer editor, Skater Bob. Later, he's Skater Bob. Skater Bob. He's got the D. All right. We'll see you again right here at Black Sundays. Did you say he's got the D? Yeah. Hands in the air if you're a Raider. One's for Al Davis and one's for the haters. Two for the Raiders, coaching staff and the players. Let's win another Super Bowl. Man, they can't fade us. Silver and black attack. Got the rules to change.